Now today's topic is uh, that of parts that constitute uh, the hive. So we start with the floor. This is all based around what they call the national uh, commercial hive based here in the UK. And this is a, a floor size of 460 by 460. This particular construction is what they call an open mesh floor, floor or a varroa floor, onto which I've actually put a landing board, which is something um, a little bit quirky and I, I put onto most of my hives to uh, help the bees out. The next item is the entrance block, which has got various slots in it, various apertures, and as you become more prolific in beekeeping, you all under what, understand why those slots are in place. But uh, we'll put that uh, in there for now. The next item is what they call the brood chamber. Now this sits directly on top of the floor. And this is where the queen does all her egg laying work on what we call brood frames. These are the larger of the frame sizes and they fit into this box in either a fashion of uh, perpendicular to the entrance or with the flow of the entrance. Perpendicular is what they call the, the warm method of lay and same direction is what they call the cold method. I personally prefer the warm method. Now in the brood chamber this particular physical size of brood chamber you can fit approximately, I say approximately, 10 or 11 frames. This all depends on the dimensions, the internal dimensions that the, the manufacturer of the boxes sort of put down. So it does tend to vary a little bit. Next item is what they call a queen excluder. Now that is a, again a meshed item, maybe wooden frame or plastic. But this basically stops the queen, which is, who is slightly larger than the other bees, from getting up into the upper area. So that goes on to the top of the brood chamber. And then on top of the brood chamber, the queen excluder you have what they call a super, which is somewhat shallower than the brood box, into which you put the super frames, as you can see they are shallower in turn, and it's in this area that the worker bees will lay the foundation and subsequently put the honey stores into this area. And it's that area of box that you work on when you extract your honey later in the season. The next item you come across is what they call a crown board. Unfortunately, this isn't a crown board, but it's something very similar. And that in turn would have two apertures in it uh, and placed again on top of the super box for future use. It doesn't have to be used through um, some of the season. And as the season progresses, again, I'll show the, um, the merits uh, of using that type of product. Component, sorry. I will leave that off for the moment. Just going back to my video clip of um, the hive components, this is that uh, crown board by the way. A couple of slots in here, and through various times of the year you will put what they call a feeder on there to help uh, bring the, the bees on. Again, you'll see a lot of that later on. And finally, we have the roof, which at all times has got to be a watertight construction. This particular hive, the 
will have my apex design roofs on. Uh, these are something very similar to um, the uh, the roof types used in what they call the WCB uh, WBC hives, which are a little bit uh, quirky in their own right. But uh, I've just built this for aesthetic reasons. As you see, I've got a a flat top on my uh, other hive here. Uh, but again, it all depends on what equipment you've got around at the time. But um, anyway, that constitutes the uh, the main items of your basic beehive. Come back soon for more topics of interest. Bye for now.